Hello, it's Chrissy again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to brand the videos using Windows Live Movie Maker or Windows Movie Maker, depending on which version you have for those people using a PC. I've already gone ahead and imported one of the videos into Movie Maker, and I did that by clicking on Add Videos and Photos and browsing on my computer to where I had the video stored. I then clicked on it to import it. It might take a minute or two to import depending on the speed of your computer but eventually you will see the video in this preview window and you'll see the film strip in this side of the Windows Movie Maker. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to add um, a lower third down the bottom of the video and that usually contains something like a web address. So we go to the home tab which we're already on and we click on caption and here's the caption here okay the text is already highlighted there so all I need to do is start typing now if you want to change the font you can highlight the text come up to the menu bar and you can choose whatever font is on your system and you can change the size of the font so for example I might want to take it up to 28 and to position the font you hover over the text bounding box with your cursor until the cross appears then you just click and drag the text into position and with this being a lower third we want it you know as far down to the bottom of the video as we can so it didn't, doesn't interfere with the actual video but, but Windows will actually only let you bring it down so far you can bring it a little bit further just by squeezing up the bounding box a little bit which pushes the text down just make sure you don't lose anything off the bottom there now you might think well you can't really hardly see that text because it's white on this particular part of the video and you can go ahead and change the color of the text by clicking up here and you can make it bold if you want to make it stand out more or you can change it to a different color but we're going to have this text showing throughout the whole of the video so in some parts it's going to show really well in other parts it's not going to show as well but I don't think that really matters so we've got the text in place and I'm happy with just a plain font because it's easy to read and um, it's not going to distract too much from what's going on in the video and with a lower third you generally want it to come in right at the beginning of the video and stay on till pretty much the end of the video if we look on the right hand side here you can see that the text isn't actually starting at the beginning of the video I've just clicked on it to highlight it what I'm going to do is just click and drag and move it right to the beginning of the video so at the moment the text is only seven seconds long so we want to have it so it's the same duration as the video which you can see down here is one minute and almost two seconds so we'll change the duration of the video to 62 seconds press enter and you can see on the right hand side here the text box has extended and if we scroll down it should be pretty much to the end of the video there you go it is you can scrub through the video if you like and you can see that the lower third remains there all the time sometimes more visible than others but that's good I'm happy with that so that's branding your video with a lower third now at the end of the videos we've left spaces for you to add contact details so I'll just scrub through to the end of the video to where the call to us sorry where the call to action contact us today comes in just about there so what I want to do is to add the contact details here in this space and in which case what I want to do is I want to add another caption now basically Windows won't really let you have two layers of captions and so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to shorten the length of the lower third so that we can fit the contact details in here 
Okay, so I'll just scrub back through here and pretty much there is where we want the lower third to disappear because our contact details are going to be coming in to take its place. So I'm going to take that down to 54 seconds. And you can see now that this is where the uh, lower third caption ends. So now what I'm going to do is I'm on the home tab and I'm going to click on caption again. So it's put as a new caption in here. There you go, there's the new caption here. So let's move this up into a better position and I'm just going to move the playhead to the point in time where we actually want the text to appear. Just there. So it's about 55 and a half seconds that we want it to come in. And you can see here, look, this is where the playhead is and this is where the text starts. So it's a little bit early for us. The text duration is showing us seven seconds. So let's take that down to five seconds. And then we come to the front of the text box here and we're going to move it down to where the playhead is. So this is where it actually starts now. There you see your website goes out then the text comes in. So we'll double click on it, highlight it, and then we can type. Joe blogs. Highlight it again. If you want to change the text, come up here to the menu bar, change it to whatever text you want to use. Let's just go for something fun like that. And then we can change the size as well if you want to, make it bigger make it even bigger. So if it goes like that onto two lines and you don't want it on two lines, all you have to do is hover over these bounding box nodes and then click and drag until it slots into place. And again, moving it, you just wait for the cross to appear and then click and drag. If you want to highlight it, you can also change the color of the text if you wish. So let's say, for example, we'll change this to a, a dark gray. Okay, so we've got the name Joe Blogs in there now, but we probably also want to include a telephone number. So just click on it, and we're going to have to make the box bigger, so we extend it by clicking and dragging on it. Put our cursor at the end of the name, and then we can press enter, and we can go ahead and enter a telephone number. Okay, unfortunately that text is now too big. We can just extend that to see if it can fit on the one line. That's not too bad, but I think we probably ought to take the text down a little bit in size. So we'll go from 36 to 28. I just changed it to 32 there by inputting manually 32. It wasn't one of the preset sizes, but Windows will allow you to choose your own size if you type it in manually. So again, I'm hovering until I see the cross and I'm now repositioning. And unfortunately, you can't have your website down here at the same time because we can't have two layers of annotations, as I've said before. The only other thing you could do is you could go back to the bounding box, extend it further, reposition here, hit enter, hit enter again, and then now you can actually type something in here, but you've got to be pretty careful with your positioning. Let's just give it a try. Remember, it's going to be the same size as well as your Joe Blogs and your telephone number. So you may not even be able to fit a website address in there. No, so it's coming quite big. But I mean, this text isn't probably the best example, but um, sometimes depending on the video, you can play with the spacing a little bit with the bounding box and you may be able to get sort of more information in there if you want to. 
but for now I think we're just going to have to leave that with a name and a telephone number. Um, now we want the name and telephone number to make sure to come all the way to the end of the video. As you can see here it's not quite getting to the end of the video. So I've got clicked on that to highlight it. I'm coming up to this box and I'm going to change it to 6 seconds. It's just about there. Let's change it to 6.5. It's not going to go any further than the end of the video so that's all good we can see it's at the end of the video now scrub that through the lower third is there the video is playing lower third disappears in comes the name and one other thing you can do with Windows Movie Maker with this text you can give it an effect you can make it come in in an animated way which is something you can't do with the YouTube animations if you come up to these boxes you basically get previews of how the text will come in so it is going to start to play and you're going to hear the music and you'll be able to see and preview different ways of getting the text to animate in if you want it to animate in rather than just popping in suddenly so let's have a look at a few that was just a fade coming in from two sides spinning in so they're pretty good. You can make it look quite nice and animated, which fits in nicely with the animations of the video anyway. I think we'll choose that one. Okay, so that is basically how you can brand the videos with your details in Windows Movie Maker.